So in the last video, we looked at how we could use the erase tool to fill in the gaps that I had left behind when I digitized the JCU Cairns campus. And that was really all around these bare ground bits and pieces here. So I'd been quite thorough digitizing my trees and my buildings and roads, etc. But I'd missed those areas of bare ground. So I used the erase to fill those in. Now you can actually see that I've been a little bit ambitious and I've digitized features outside of the area that I actually needed to do so. So I have my, my boundary that's lined up by the internal JCU feature class here that you can see and that's, that's outlined in yellow. And now I've just found out that all I need to do is work out the area of the different features that exist within these internal boundaries. So we're going to have a look at another geoprocessing tool that's going to be able to do that for us. This is like using a cookie cutter and the internal JCU boundary is the cookie cutter itself and the infrastructure feature class is going to be the cookie dough that we're going to chop out. So let's head on up to the analysis tab here and open up the tools. And the tool that we want to use is the clip tool which is essentially, like I just said, the cookie cutter. So let's click on this one and open up this clip tool. And the features that we want to clip are our internal, uh, sorry, our infrastructure feature class here. So we're going to clip that and we are going to clip it using our internal JCU features feature class. So our, our output then is going to be the infrastructure and again, checking that folder structure where that's going to occur. The infrastructure clipped internal JCU. And that just helps me remember exactly what I've done with that process there. So let's go ahead and run this one. And we'll see it pop up in our table of contents over on the left hand side. Remove all this extra stuff. And if we turn off our infrastructure now, you will see that all we have left are all these polygons that now align to what we had for infrastructure originally, but they're only contained within that internal JCU polygon that was part of that feature class. But we have a bit of a problem in that our original infrastructure feature class when we displayed it, it looked wonderful, right? So we had all these number, all these different colors that were assigned to the different categories of buildings, car parks, trees, walkways, etc. And now when we've clipped this feature, we've lost that. So how about we bring that color scheme back in to our new feature class that we've created. So if we right click on that and go to symbology, you'll see another little menu here. And if you left click on that, you can go to import symbology. Now this is a really quick and easy way to copy the symbology from one particular layer over to another. So our input layer is going to be our infrastructure clipped because that's the one that's appearing green at the moment, but we want that all nice and colorful. And the layer that we're going to copy it from is going to be our original infrastructure layer. And so this is going to make sure that we get exactly the same colors based on those categories that we use to create that color scheme in the first place. So let's hit run and see how we go. And we have a little bit of magic working just here now. So let's turn off just to make sure everything else is off and we're not confused about what's getting used here. And scroll on up. And so we now just have our cookie cutted area out looking at the internal grounds of the JCU Cairns campus bounded by the ring road on the outside. And we have the color scheme that was created initially using the, the buildings, car parks, trees, walkways, roads and bare ground.